Hey guys, it's Miranda. Today I am going to be doing a marker review. So the first thing I would like to say is that I'm not sponsored or paid to do this. Windsor and Newton has sent me these markers, but I'm not a big fan of like being paid to give my opinions or anything. I just like to be honest with people and Windsor and Newton's pretty honest too and that's just what they want is some honest opinions and I was very glad to do this for them. So they sent me these Pro Markers. They used to be known as Letraset Markers, but now they are rebranded as their Pro Markers. I will be reviewing this 13-piece set, and one of the markers is a blender. So I'll see how that works out. And this could be a good alternative for Copics or Prismacolors. You know, a lot of people ask me what are good... Uh, marker brands to use and I think you know I think Windsor & Newton has very high quality products as it is uh, with their paints especially so I'm very excited to try their markers and let you guys know what I think um, but this is definitely I would say a potential option so let me open it and I'll do some swatches for you guys and we can examine the stuff up close all right, when you open this pack, it opens easily like so, and everything is spread out nicely. I like the packaging, so that's nice because you can always just use this as a thing if you don't want to put your stuff in a bag. So there's that. Now let's just grab a random marker and examine it. This is what it looks like up close. As you can see, it's double-ended. There is a chisel nib and then there is a fine tip small nib. So this is what the chisel nib looks like. And this is what the smaller nib looks like. So as you can see, these are not brush markers. They offer brush markers, and other people have reviewed those ones, but this is the one that I was sent to review. So, I am going to swatch these for you now. Okay, let's see how the pink looks. The paper I'm using is Copic Express It Blend It card. I personally just enjoy that brand because I just feel like it um, allows me to blend a lot and the paper holds up. So that's what I'm using. There's your red. I like the red. It's a very deep red. I feel like a lot of marker companies can't really get reds the way I like them. Like they're usually too orange or too pink and so this is a really good red. Okay, that's my swatch card and at the end, I just kind of messed with the colorless blender a little bit just to get a feel of how I wanted to use it for my drawing. So, now I'm going to be really putting these markers to the test for you and showing you a time lapse of this drawing I did of an owl, kind of zentangly, but not too much because I wanted to focus on the markers. So, what I do want to say while I'm inking is that I love how smooth they are. When I did the swatches, I noticed that they're just, they're so smooth and you can tell they're full of ink. Um, and they're just, I don't know, they're so pigmented that I just knew that it would be a pleasure to use them. There is one thing I did notice though when I did use them that I didn't like and that is that the barrel is just a little bit too thick. Like I wish the markers were a little thinner in diameter so that they would be more comfortable to hold. I have small hands and I just I don't like holding utensils that are that thick to do art with. Like, I don't know. If I when I look at the markers, the first thing I think of is like a bullet in a gun, <laughs> just the way they're shaped and stuff, and so I kind of feel like I'm holding a bullet when I draw, but that's okay. It's not looks that matter. It is other things. So there's my opinion on the looks anyway. <laughs> Also, though, with the whole packaging of the marker and how it's made, I love that the markers don't roll around. See, there's other markers that are shaped differently, uh, such as Copics. They're more of an oval shape, and they don't roll. 
And Pro Markers are really nice because they're still round, but they just put like little ridges on their lids, and so it doesn't roll when it rests on that ridge. And I like that. So I was a little bit worried that they only gave me uh, 12 markers and a blender to work with. Uh, it took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do because I thought, man, that's so few colors. What am I going to draw? You know, I'm so anal about blending my colors that I just, I don't know. But I gave it a try and I wanted to blend anyway. And I noticed that First of all, these are not even brush markers, so I didn't think I could blend very well with them. But I was so wrong, and Winsor Newton just completely wowed me with this. Like, these markers are so easy to blend. I mean, there's only 12 markers in this pack, and you can tell that I've blended, like, reds and oranges, and I layered colors with the owl, for instance, that blue. And... Yeah, I blended the orange and the yellow on the eyes, and now I'm going in with a dark blue and blending that under the eyes for shadows. I don't know, I just, they surprised me. <laughs> so, I mean, for instance, there's other brands that I've used that have like hundreds of colors, and so I'm just so used to that, but this is really nice. And so I would definitely, definitely recommend that if you don't want to spend a whole whole ton of money but you want amazing quality markers that you should totally get these Winsor Newton ones. I um, I wouldn't really get the pro marker ones in my opinion. I prefer a brush tip and since I know these are really good quality I'm just very curious now as to what the brush tip markers are like because I'm sure it blends you know so much better than these pro markers did and yeah I just, I really am impressed by them though. And so if you do buy these though, as I said, I would recommend doing the brush markers because blending is easier. I mean, unless you're not using it for this kind of art. I mean, if you're doing an adult coloring book, I would totally recommend the pro markers. So any adult coloring book fans out there, this is for you. <laughs> but yeah. But as I said in the beginning of the video, I definitely respect Winsor & Newton's products. I always have. Uh, for instance, their watercolors and their oil paints and their acrylics. Like, that's one of my go-to brands, honestly. So, I was thrilled when they asked me to review their markers. Okay, while I am talking about that, I will take a break just to tell you this. Um... Okay, I did go in with a jelly roller just to add whites and blend stuff to make that lighter. I just thought it was a little necessary because it seemed dark to me. But I have other news. <laughs> so if you've been watching my channel for the past while, you should know this by now. But if you haven't, that's great because it's new for you. But I'm opening, opening, <laughs> I'm opening an Etsy store with my prints, and there's going to be originals in there too, and. I think I'm going to do one-of-a-kind prints as well and go in and add, like, special details. We'll see. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know because that should be coming in February. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. And if you like this, let's just be friends on social media. How about it? Let's get to know each other and welcome to the art family. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. Okay. See you next week, guys.